Hey guys, we'll continue with the previous problem which we left uh, halfway uh, in our previous video. Uh, just to uh, summarize what we did in the previous video, so we had in input sequence x of n, which was unit step function. We had impulse response h of n, which unit step function shifted right two, ta uh, two times. Step one was to sketch x of n and h of minus n, which we did here, and we were supposed to replace uh, independent variable from n to k, which we did here. Uh, why we did because to match with the equation uh, where it equation had a summation x of k and h of minus k right and in the next step we bought these two sequence in a same independent variable k uh, we put this in the same position as it is even we put h of minus k also in the same position where it was there in the previously but it's not like that we can move it anywhere we want once we fixed uh, uh, controlling index. So controlling index, the way we fix the controlling index is nothing but you just add one term small letter n to the end of the uh, impulse response. The, uh, the, the one end of the impulse response is minus 2, right? This is minus 2 and the other end is minus infinity which we cannot reach to minus infinity. So it's not possible to uh, assign a controlling index. Whereas the, the other end which is minus 2, I can assign the control end index so it, it is its position is at minus 2 so I put 1 n here so minus 2 plus n which is nothing but n minus 2 once I assign the controlling index I can move this slider from minus infinity to plus infinity and I can uh, see what are the non overlapping region and overlapping region okay so now we will continue with the step 3 which is we need to start moving h of minus k which is this from minus infinity to plus infinity Let me draw, plot that waveform. Uh, this is k 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and it goes right minus 7, minus 8, dot dot dot. So it, it is actually in minus infinity. So the first sequence x of k is here starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so dot 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 it goes till infinity and its amplitude is 1. So this is x of k and where was h of minus k? Now the thing is I need to move h of minus k from minus infinity to plus infinity right? Now I, now, now I have the liberty, liberty to uh, take this slider and keep it at minus infinity. Now n minus 2 is at the position of n minus 2 is at minus infinity, somewhere far away from us in the in the range of minus infinity. So from that minus infinity, I have to keep on moving this slider, which is n minus 2, to minus infinity dot 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 minus thousand dot 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 minus hundred dot 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 dot. I I'll bring this to minus seven. Okay. So now the n minus one, I started moving from minus infinity. I came uh, from minus infinity till minus seven, which I'll plot it here. So this is minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, and it is it goes right. And the slider slider is here. And what is the slider index? N minus two. Right. Okay, and what is the sequence? This is h of minus k. So till here, I did not; uh, these two did not touch. These there are there is no overlap region, right? Now I I'll still move further right. Uh, I'll take this n minus two index to minus six, minus five, minus four, minus three. I'll bring this slider to minus three. Okay. So zero, one, two. 3, 4, 5, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. This is the first sequence which is x of k. This is k. And this is the second sequence which I move moved it further right. 
this is n minus 2 okay so i bought from minus infinity to minus 7 now i move more further right and i bought it to minus 3 now i will move further right minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so this is x of k and I'll, I'll bring this to minus 1 this is h of minus k so, ok this is now n minus 2 so this is x of k and this is h of minus k so this was x of k and this was h of minus k and this is x of k and this is h of minus k now this from here it is x of k which goes till plus infinity and this is this portion is x of minus k I hope you get the idea right this is h of minus k this is x of k now what if I move further right by one sample what happens the overlapping of x of minus k and x of k starts right so till till n minus 2 is at minus 1 there was no overlap right but as soon as n minus 2 moves one one sample right further now x of minus k and x of k start to overlap now there are two regions here so one is non overlapping region non overlapping region okay and second is overlapping region so what and all the non overlapping regions from where to where overlapping uh, the sequence does not overlap till till n minus 2 is less than 0 right till n minus 2 is less than 0 this sequence and this sequence does not overlap so, so therefore the non overlapping region is n minus 2 is less than 0 this n minus 2 slider is less than this 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 value less than this okay so if i bring this minus 2 to the other side what do i get n is less than plus 2 so, so what is the output y of n as i told you this index n minus 2 this whatever the index I have it is directly related to output right I have told this in the first video of convolution sum solving convolution sum of an infinite sequence no so y of n is 0 I can directly write it is write it as 0 right uh, uh, the thing is no what is y of n y of n is what summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of minus k this is nothing but x of k and h of minus k both does not overlap so it is actually zero why because there is no overlap region okay now when does my overlapping starts actually so when i move this n minus 2 right further the overlapping region starts right in the sense if i put it here so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so this is the original I mean this is the input sequence x of k x of k x of k whereas now I move this uh, which I have kept it in a dotted line I will move this and I will keep it at somewhere I, at 4 ok I will keep this n minus 2 at 4 okay but i can keep it anywhere it's my wish i can keep it in 10 i can keep it in uh, 20 i can keep it in even plus infinity also because there are overlapping regions right okay so i'll just to convince you i'll keep this to 4 and we'll see what happens so this this one is just to show you the difference i kept the other samples a little bit bigger so that you can see the difference of x of minus k and h of k 
so this is the sequence of h of minus k h of minus k and this is the sequence of x of k so I'll write it here x of k right and where is my slider as, as I told you I kept that slider in the 4 right so this slider is at 4 of this n minus 2 and from where the overlap region starts it start from 0 so these are all the overlap regions right so 0 and in this case it has the overlap has rendered at 4 because I kept it my slider at 4 even if I keep it slider at 10 overlap region start from 0 to 10 if I keep it at 100 overlap region start from 0 to 100 if I keep it at infinity overlap region start from 0 to infinity okay so generally overlap region will start from 0 and ends at n minus 2 and where I keep this n minus 2 it's my wish I mean it's it is actually varying from 0 to infinity right so now n minus 2 the overlapping region is n minus 2 from where it starts greater than greater than or equal to greater than or equal to this is the overlap portion greater than or equal to 0 so this is the overlapping region right now I'll, I have to write it in terms of n so I keep this n minus 2 to the other side so n is greater than or equal to 2 ok so, so so what is y of n y of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k this is as per the equation we derived ok now y of n is equal to now to decide the k so now what is the k range k start you just look at the overlap portion so overlap start from 0 which is so 0 and where does it ends it ends depends upon where I keep this n minus 2 right so it is n minus 2 this n minus 2 can be anywhere starting from 0 to infinity ok generally it is n minus 2 so x of k amplitude of the input sequence and h of n minus k amplitude of the impulse response ok so y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to n minus 2 and what is the amplitude of x of k so this is my x of k right what is its amplitude it is 1 so it is 1 and what is the amplitude of h of minus k for k varying from 0 to n minus 2 for k varying from 0 to n minus 2 amplitude of x this is h of minus k amplitude this is also 1 right because this is also unit step function so 1 into 1 so y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to n minus 1 minus 1 1 yeah. instead of writing n minus 2 I will write it as n minus 1 minus 1 which is nothing but n minus 2 ok so y of n is equal to n minus 1 how did I write this so I hope you know that standard result summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 1 is given by n ok this is the standard result I followed here now I just the reason I wrote n minus 1 minus 1 is because I wanted to bring this into standard form as n minus 1 so that's the reason I took it as n minus 1 minus 1 now, now this n minus 1 is nothing but n here so summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 1 is n so summation k varying from 0 to n minus 1 minus 1 1 is nothing but n minus 1 fine ok now uh, from these two non overlapping and overlapping region I covered moving my n minus 2 index from minus infinity to plus infinity correct now okay. right so for non overlapping region what did I say n was less than 2 when I say n, n is less than 2 so it is starting from minus infinity till till 1 right till 1 yes from minus infinity to till 1 it covers whereas this from 2 to infinity it covers so so as as a whole I covered from minus infinity to plus infinity so now I have to write the output combinedly so therefore y of n is equal to it is 0 for n is less than 2 and is equal to n minus 1 so for n is greater than or equal to 2 so this is the output from the LTI system for the input x of n and 
h of n which is u of n and u of n minus 2. Uh, problem looks lengthier but if you practice it you will get used to it so don't worry.